Today I'm gonna to show you how to make not one, but two pineapple cards that use the June 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So let's get started with card number one. So for card number one, I'm gonna use these pieces out of the kit. We have this yellow card base. We're gonna use two of these pineapple cutouts and this one little tag. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this card base and I'm going to fold it back and I'm gonna score it like so. All right, then I'm gonna flip it upside down. So I'm gonna have this now be the inside of the card. I'm gonna fold it forward and fold it back like that. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing that we're gonna do is take a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. Now this cardstock here has been cut at three by four and three fourths. And then I'm gonna use a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. Now I've embossed this with our brand new Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder. Okay, so let me grab my glue. I'm gonna put my adhesive on the back here and I'm going to press this onto the front of the pumpkin pie, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna flip this over and I wanna add some dimensionals right here along the side. So I'm just gonna put three and then I'm gonna peel off the backing. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip this card over and I'm going to center this so that, that's why I only put dimensionals on the one side. Okay, so now we have our front panel and focal point of the card. So this is where we're gonna put a pineapple. All right, so I have, first of all, one pineapple image here. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to just glue this right onto the front of the card. Okay, so we'll just stick this on like so. Okay, now I wanted to give this pineapple um, some dimension. So what I did is I took the second pineapple and then I went ahead and I added dimensionals all over the back of it. I took off the backing and now we're gonna take the second pineapple and we're going to line this up directly on top of that first pineapple. So now you can see just by putting them on top of each other, it just really gives a nice look to the front of this card and that pineapple really stands out and pops. All right, so now we need some words. So in the set, we have this little um, flag here. So let me grab my ink and the words we're gonna use say, you are loved. And this is one of the stamps that come in the paper pumpkin kit. So I'm going to stamp my words right in the center of that banner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my liquid glue on this. I'll just put liquid glue right in the center of the banner and then we're going to press this right along the bottom of the pineapple like so. Okay, like that. All right, then the next thing that we'll do is just add our embellishments. And so I'm going to use these really fun sequins. I'm gonna put a small one there and then a larger one right there. I'll take a small one and put it right here. And then I'll take another small one and put it right there next to the sentiment. And then I'll take one more large one and kind of cascade it all the way down from the top corner down to the bottom. And that is our pineapple alternative card number one. Okay, so let me move on to the next card. So for the next card, we're going to be using this as the base of the card. I'm going to be using a piece of Just Jade cardstock that's been cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. And we're gonna also be using one of these really beautiful envelopes that come in the paper pumpkin kit. Now, first, let me show you what I did with the envelope. So I took the envelope and I cut it into three pieces. So I cut it first so that it would be three and a quarter inches because I want it to sit right on top of this um, base here. So the envelope looked like this originally. So after I cut it at the three and a quarter inch, I then turned the, I, I had this part of the envelope left over. I cut one and a half inches off of this side. It leaves with this excess one inch piece. We could just put this to, to the side and use it for another project. So now I'm gonna take this envelope here and I'm going to lay it directly on top of the other envelope like that. So now it will complete that square. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and just put these, glue these pieces together. And so let me add some glue on here. And then I'll 
flip this over and we'll add some liquid glue to the back of the envelope. All right, and then that's gonna get centered right onto the center of our Just J cardstock. Okay, so it does have this strip down the middle, but that is where our pineapple image is gonna go. So let me just take the pineapple image and some liquid glue, and then I'm going to lay that right on that center strip, like so. Okay, then I'm gonna flip this over. I'll add four dimensionals to the back. bring over the card base and then we're going to stick this right on the front of this colorful card base like so. All right now for the embellishments again we're going to use these sequins so I'm going to put one in the bottom here and then one right here and then I'll put one more large one right up here at the top of the card like that and those are so pretty and they really add just a nice finishing touch. Okay so this is nice just as a plain pineapple card but you can also use these brand new playful alphabet dies. And these are really wonderful dies. You can see that what I love about them is the letters that you remove, they're traced on here. It comes like this, so you'll know what letters are missing. So I bet you can guess what letter, what I put on the front of my card. As you can see, the, the A, the L, the H, and the O is missing. But do you notice something? There's another A over here. So I love it that you get, there's extra vowels in this to make putting your words together a little bit easier. So when I die cut those letters, they just really flew so easily out of the dies. And then I just pick them up with my um, take your pick tool and flip them over. And then I just added my adhesive to the back. And then once the adhesive was on there, I pressed it onto the card where I wanted it to go. And when it was all finished, the card looked like this. And so this is our fun Aloha pineapple card number two. So let me show you that first card again. And here they are. You are loved and much Aloha to you. <laughs> well, I hope that you liked learning how to make these two fun pineapple alternate cards. The June paper pumpkin kit was amazing. And not only could you create two of each of these cards here, let me show them to you, but this month's paper pumpkin kit even came with everything to create this fun label, and then you can open up your box and fill it with all kinds of yellow or orange treats to surprise and bless somebody by sharing a box of sunshine with them. So I just love that idea, and I had so much fun with this month's kit. Well, until we stamp again, I hope you all have a happy and blessed day. Aloha.